the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Now, I know you're not used to seeing me here during this segment, but I ask the team to please let me talk to you on this glorious Sunday morning. We have just spent 24 hours of prayer nonstop out at the glorious Calvary Memorial. Over 100 City Harvest Network churches have joined their congregations with ours, praying for these 24 hours leading up to the 30 year anniversary of the miracle healing and victory prayer cloth service. Now for some of you that that may be new to, let me bring it to you right from God's word. Don't want you to be confused at all. Here it is, Acts 19, 11. God kept releasing a flow of extraordinary miracles through the hands of Paul. Because of this, people took Paul's handkerchiefs and articles of clothing, even pieces of cloth that he had touched, laid them on the bodies of the sick and the disease, and the demons left them and they were healed. It was true in Acts 19, it's true today. This cloth has no special properties. Let me make that clear. But when we pray and when we agree in this year, 2023, the year when agreement is essential, God honors our faith. And then this cloth becomes a point of contact for the release of your faith. That's why we're here today celebrating 30 years of miracles. Now, during this service, we'll be praying over the hundreds of thousands of prayer calls that have already come in from around the world and across America. Everybody's believing for great miracles, healing, salvation, deliverance, whatever you need in your life. I've placed prayer cloths on the table for you. That means you can get yours this coming week, from right off the altar after today's service. In order to do that, you simply need to go to rodparsley.com and receive the tangible, transferable anointing of God to touch you, save, heal, deliver, make whole. Join me today. Get your faith out there. Let's agree to see the mightiest, most extraordinary miracles, healings, deliverances we've experienced in 30 years. Here we go now. Get your praise on. Welcome to your miracle. 
Welcome to your breakthrough. Welcome to salvation. Welcome to the goodness of the Lord. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is no ordinary day, but this is a day, 30 years of miracles that God is springboarding off of to do something amazing in your life today. We have been in prayer for 24 hours right here on this property and joining churches and ministries and men and women around the world. And we're believing for God to do amazing things today. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. And if you want it to send it down, shout amen. amen. Come on. Let's go. Lord, won't you send your power down? Lord, won't you send your fire down? Let your glory fill this temple now. Sing 
it out with us. Declare it. We see the flame of fire burning bright. We feel unquenchable joy. We see the evidence. We see the evidence of your heart. Tell it. Break down. Come on, lean into that right there. Break down. Let your fire fall. Let your fire fall. Let your spirit move. Let your spirit move. Break down in our hearts and lives, Lord. Break down. Let an upper star. Let an upper star move. Your anointing. Say break out. Break out. Anybody hungry for the more of God today? Oh, we sense them so. We feel a mighty rushing wind. Just like the day of Pentecost. We see the flame of fire burning bright. Oh, yeah. We feel unquenchable joy. Oh, we see. We see the evidence. Your mighty power is right here. here. Let your fire fall. Let your fire fall. Let your spirit move. Let your spirit move. Holy Spirit. Break down. Lord, we want you to break down. Let it up a star. Let it up the star move of your anointing. Say break down, say break down. Lord, we want you to break down. In our hearts and lives, cities and nation, God. Let your fire fall. Do what you want to do. Is there anybody that will trust him like that today? Say, God, have your way. Come on, declare what we're sensing it. Say, we feel a Remove your power. Y'all say, we feel the rumbling of victory. Say it again. We Tell it, 
tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. I need you to break out in my life, Jesus. I need you to break out in my life, Jesus. I'm so hungry for an authentic move of God. I need you to break out in my life, Jesus. I'm hungry. I want to see what they saw in the book of Acts. Father, you promised us, you promised us greater works than these shall ye do. I'm looking for the greater works. I'm waiting for the greater works. I'm declaring for the greater works. I'm confessing and believing for the greater work. Is there anybody that will agree? Is there anybody that will agree for the greater of God? Pastor Parsley teaches in 2023, agreement is, it's essential. We stand in agreement together for a mighty deluge of the Holy Ghost. Stir it up, stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. No spectators today will taste and see that the Lord is good. Everybody jump into the river of God. Jump in with your hallelujah. Jump in with your I love you, Jesus. Jump in with your I'm ready for more of God. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the risen King. Lord, we thank you that the same power that raised Jesus from the dead is living on the inside of every believer. Oh, we thank you, Father, that we're born again, fire baptized, blood bought. We've got the victory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And suddenly there came a sound. Let there rise a sound up out of this place. Come on. I need a room full of intercessors that will say, I haven't seen yet what God promised me. And I didn't come today to be cute with it, but I came to press my way if I have to into the promises of God. I'll be the one that will weep between porch and altar and say, God, 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 let it be unto me as you said in your word. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Come on, Facebook. Come on, Instagram. Come on, every City Harvest Network campus. Columbus, lean in. There we go. There we go. Come on, about 10 more seconds of that. That's warming up the atmosphere right there. We feel a jailbreak. We feel a jailbreak. Hey! We feel a jailbreak. Whatever the devil has held captive that belongs to you, I dare somebody to get a Holy Ghost option and begin to give the devil a notice and say, I feel a jailbreak. I feel my peace being set free. I feel my healing being set. Yeah! the promises of God being loosed in my life. We feel a jailbreak. Wayward sons and daughters are being loosed from a lifestyle of homosexuality and lust and pride. We feel salvations. We feel salvations. We feel salvations. That the apex of all Christian endeavor must become to place the jewel of a soul in the crown. We feel a jailbreak. Oh, we see family members being saved. We feel a jailbreak. We feel a jailbreak. We feel a jailbreak. And we're not being passive about it either. Oh my God. We're going to take it by force. We're going to take it by force. My family shall be saved. My children will serve the Lord. My family will be on fire for God. Yes, they will. I'm not leaving it to chance. I'm not just waiting to see how it turns out. No, 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 no. Not destiny, purpose. And we feel a jailbreak. Oh, my great God. I feel something rising. I feel some run, child of God. I feel... I feel an army rising, 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 rising. I feel an army of 
of believers rising up. I feel an army of believers that are waking up, waking up, waking up to the good book, waking up to the good book and saying, if depression is not in the word, why is it in my life? Cast it out in the name of Jesus. Cast out suicide. We cast down a spirit of suicide. We cast down a spirit of darkness in the name of Jesus. And we declare a sound mind, a jailbreak of a sound mind. We declare the blessings that make rich and add no sorrow. Jailbreak, a jailbreak of faith. Oh, my great God. A jailbreak of a healing anointing. A jailbreak of a healing anointing. Pastor Parsley teaches that no anointing ever leaves the earth. Somebody ask God to give you a new anointing today. Oh God, I'm available. You can take me through the process you have to take me through to carry the kind of anointing that when my shadow walks by somebody, they gotta be healed. Oh, do it God. Come on baby. The spirit of intimidation on, in the kingdom again. of God. Yep. The devil's not playing games and neither is the church. The devil doesn't play games and neither does the church. Come on, Unity is essential and just like he said that army, God is rising up an army. God is right here is the army of God. We're putting on the helmet of salvation. We've got the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. We've got the shield of faith, the breastplate of righteousness, our loins girt with truth, and our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. So I come against every spirit of intimidation against the church and against the people of God. We come against every enemy assignment, every enemy assignment in the name of Jesus. Everything must bow at the name of Jesus. I encourage you to come up, and I mean you get it by the grips. Get the word of God and show the devil who's boss. Show the devil who's boss. No more intimidation in the kingdom of God. No more intimidation in the kingdom. No more intimidation in the kingdom of God. We have the power through Jesus. That's right, that's right, that's right. Father. We come against every ounce of intimidation, fear, anxiety, and thinking that I'm not enough. We're not enough, but through Jesus we are enough. No more lack. No more lack. We are what the Word of God says we are. We are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. We are. We are the, the, the lenders and not the borrowers. We are empowered and equipped. That's right. We are healed. We are made whole. Yes, 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 yes. Spirit, soul, and body. We lack nothing through Jesus. We lack nothing through Jesus. We feel, we feel. We feel a jailbreak. We feel a jailbreak. We feel, we feel, we feel, we feel, we feel, we feel it. Come on, one of three, two or four, whatever. Yeah. Keep that up. If the world was counting on what we do in this room right now, which they are, how would you act? I said if your children and the and the next generation was counting on what you're doing right now in this room, how would you act, beloved? Move, 
God, move. Save our families. Save our children, God. Raise up mighty men and women in government places and people of authority. God, we ask that you would take out who you want to take out and put in who you want to put in, God. May government officials be set on fire with the passion and zeal and things of God. We pray for our cities. We pray for our nation and the world. Lean into that. Come on, prayer warriors. Come on, prayer warriors. Somebody that doesn't need a cheerleader. Whatever God puts in your spirit, pray it out. 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 out. We feel. We feel a shell. Pray it out. Pray it out. Pray it out. This is prayer cloth. This is not a production. This is prayer cloth. Pray, saints, pray. One time. We feel safe. We feel Ah! We feel that We feel we feel. We feel. We feel. Now the word of God tells us that we walk by faith and not by sight. So even if you don't feel a jailbreak in faith, you really do. In faith, believing because of the word of God, you feel a jailbreak. You just know in your knower that God's about to do what he promised you. Is that anybody in the room? Shout hallelujah. We feel safe. We feel. Yes, we do. We feel. The movie your pop. The movie your pop. Yes, God, yes, God. The move of your power is all up and down my family, in my life, saving, healing, delivering, and setting free. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The move of your power. 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 Yes, God, yes. The move of your power. There's a miracle in the work. There's a miracle in the work. Yeah! There's a miracle. Get happy about that, beloved. There. There is a miracle. Yes, it is. It's in the work. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's in the work. It's in the work. Yes, God, yes. In the work. In the work. So tell me. So tell me. Stand again. When we go, go on that great day. His name is Jesus, Jesus, precious, Jesus, 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 precious, 
I heard some double, double, double. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, mighty God, mighty Savior. I remember somebody saying, silence is the language of defeat. But shouting is the language. You singing about victory. You need to shout about victory today. I walked over there and I, I began picking up requests off this table. Over 300,000 of them. Don't be coming in here to play with it. Come on. There are 300,000 people laying over there believing. For God to work through you. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Today. Today. Shove your neighbor and shout. Today. Today. We ain't got no someday, maybe so, might be. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Now. Now. Oh, hey. Now. I walked over there, out of the first four that I picked up off that table, it was pray for so-and-so who is currently possessed with paranoia and fear. I'm not believing that three years from now, uh, uh, after lots of treatment, right, come on, come on. hospitalizations, medications, that they're going to be okay. Are you listening to me across America and around the world? Today is your day. No help in here. Show now. Show now. Show now. Show now. Show now. Clapping. Clapping. Clapping is the language of authority. And I declare and decree every principality, every power. The rulers of the darkness of this world. Come on. Somebody asked me the other day, things are so bad, what are we going to do? I said, we're going to clap, clap, clap. We're going to let the adversary know who is in authority. Spinning is the language of warfare. I dare you. You know your Bible says, when we look at me, look at me, look. Look at me. Say, say this. When I 
Look at somebody that says he's talking about me. Now, whether you get this or not, I'm going to get it. I'm not leaving here. I'm not leaving where I am watching until I know that I know it is finished. You ready? Ready. Okay. Say this. Come hold my Bible, son. Say this. Say this. Like loud. This is our decree, the law of the Lord, and our declaration for the decade of 5780 or 2020. Psalm 81, 10. Are you ready? Here's how it goes. Open your mouth. Open your mouth with a mighty decree. What written law of God's word do you want him to enforce today? I'm talking to you. Type it in. Type it in. Get your coffee table out of the way. Put the dog outside. Sit your breakfast down. Get rid of your coffee. Everything is at stake for the next one and a half hours. Three heart conditions in this area just got totally healed. I heard you. God just told me heart healing physically, emotionally, and mentally is running up and down the East Coast of America right now. Who, who is that? Somebody on this half of the building with a heart condition. Where are you? Where, come here. Come here. Don't look. Don't look. Do not do this. Who? Me? If I look in your direction, knock seven people down and get to me. Act like you really want God to do something. We feel a jailbreak. Let's go. Where's my help? Let's go. Let's go, yeah. Hearts. I want hearts right now. Just get up here. Push your way through. Stop stopping people. If you're watching, type in fear, paranoia, demonic activity, heart conditions. A hundred people at least are being healed right now of ringing in your ears. Stop! I said stop! Come here, Brother Dennis. 
Come here, Brother Dennis. Your wife can come too. Come here. Everybody clap and take authority. Come here, Christabel, baby. We feel love. Yeah, Lord. We sense you're moving right now, Lord. Since you're working right now, Lord. We feel it. Right now, right now, right now, right now. I need a shout we of victory. Stop waiting on it to happen. Stop waiting on it to happen. It is finished now stop come back just a little bit come back just a little bit you can sit down just stay right there that's a good girl we need to baptize kids in the presence of God not try to usher them out of it. Oh, I'm coming in hot. Hey! On three, God will heal every disorder in the female reproductive system under the sound of my voice. Be made whole. One, two, one, two, three, now. Now. Oh, you want to have a baby? Come here. Come here, both of them. Come here. Come here. back a little bit. When does your youngest son graduate? This year, this year. Your youngest son graduates this year? He graduates this year. Okay. So next year, I'm going to begin paying your way full time on campus at Valor. All right. All right. All right. All right. How many years have you been teaching at HPS? Um, technically 32, but I subbed a year, so 33. <laughs> now watch. Now watch. I'm going to show you something. I'm going I'm to help everybody. Um, This precious woman. Okay, she can stand with you now. She can stand with you now. You are so beautiful. Yes, you are. What's her name? Justine. Justine. Sing Justine. Yes, that's beautiful. Father, I thank you that right now in this atmosphere, your holy power is touching Justine and every child with an autism spectrum disorder that their speech returns to them now in the name of Jesus. Now, wait a minute. Where's that couple? Where's the couple I'm talking about? Where's, where's Bishop Amos? Okay, where's that couple? Okay, give me their testimony. If we have a picture of them, put it up. 
Yes, sir. That is the Hernandez family yes. that drives here every week from Michigan. Yes. yes. And the wife, when she first came here, yes. she could not walk yes, without her walker. walker. Yes. But the anointing was so for strong. Years. For years. She'd been on a walker. For years on a walker. God she... strengthening bodies from the lower back all the way down to the toes right now. Right now, right now, right now, every hip, knee, high ankle, foot, toe. If that's you, jump up and down or run right now. This is a veteran. This is a veteran. This is, I pray for every veteran who is suffering come on, come on. right now. Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh. I announce your deliverance. I speak financial blessing yes, yes, upon yes, yes, every yes. one of you. Woo. Woo. Oh, my God. Come on. How old is he? 96. 96. Hallelujah. I have never prayed for this in my life. You remember the man in the synagogue on the Sabbath day and he had a withered hand. Ah! Oh! He had a withered hand. And Jesus said, stretch it out. Now, wait a minute. You missed it. If he could have, he would have already. His hand was like this. And Jesus said, stretch that out. And he did not say, well. Because when Jesus says, be made whole, Stretch it out. Everybody say this with me. From this day, From this day forward, forward, I will not accept, will not accept what, the Bible says what the Bible says is not mine. Is not mine. Sickness, Sickness is, not mine. is not mine. Bondage, Bondage is not mine. It's not mine. Demon, power Demon power is not mine. It's not mine. Fear. Is not, is not mine. Depression is not mine. Financial bondage is not mine. Marriage problems are not Okay. Here's what I've never said before. Everybody over the age of 60, raise your hand. Look at this. Look at this. We are told we have to be sick when we get older. We have to have aches and pains and we're always tired and we just can't do as much. I got a text from a man. He's a great, great, great Bible teacher. I have known him for over 30 years. I maybe have heard from him three times in my life. He texted me this week and he said, I just want you to know, I've watched you for 30 years and there's not a preacher on earth that works like you do. I'm not saying that for me. 
I'm about to be 67. And I am refusing aches and pains and arthritis and lumbago and memory loss and all the rest of it. So I pray right now for every person over 60 that has been told you have to put up with it. In the name of Jesus, be made. Now act like it. He just shoved his walker away. Somebody shout, I'm going to run when I'm 96. I'm going to run when I'm 96. Whoa! Look at me. Let the weak say I am strong. All right, come here. Come here. Come here. This is uh, Professor Sam's, Sean Sam's. Thank you for your service. That's right. Listen, this is Professor Sean Sam's, Valor Christian College. Uh, hey, hey. This is his lovely wife, Tamar, who I had the privilege of joining them yes. in holy matrimony. Yes. And they look better every time I see them. Amen. But I know they've been struggling. I know that. I'm not trying to act like this a word of knowledge. I, I know what I'm talking about here, right now. Hey, Jesus. Hey. Hey. Kidney stones. You say, wait, wait, wait. Why did you do that? Because I felt it. You don't understand the anointing. Most preachers would be running right now for the emergency room. But when that hit me, I know that doesn't belong to me. He was wounded Uh for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. I wish I had a church. By the way, if you don't have a prayer cloth, I have one for you. It's on the table right now. Right now, it's already on there. That table is five feet tall. I put it there for you because I knew you'd be watching today, right now. And there you are, hurting, in pain, facing a doctor's report, troubled financially, fearful in the city that you're living in, that somebody may just shoot you dead in your front yard. I got a prayer cloth for you. And if you click there right now, I'll send it to you as soon as this service is over for your point of contact to believe God for your miracle. Now, so why did, you know Elder Canfield, we think people know things and and bless their hearts, they're unlearned. Yes, yes. Because they go to some dead, Ah. dried up, Ah. plucked up by the roots church. Talk about If they don't have services like this, at least once or twice a month, get out of there. Get out. out. I don't care whether you come here or not, but get out of there. Get out of there. Yes, sir. These signs. Let me give you a Bible. Follow those that believe. They shall have cookouts. They shall have a a young married group. 
that gets together and eats tea and crumpets or goes to the local restaurant and gets margaritas. These signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils. Father, lay your hands on your belly. That's where satanic oppression takes place. And stop saying you're possessed of a devil if you're born again. That's a lie. The Holy Ghost and a demon don't live in the same belly. That's right. That's right. I bind every influence. I bind every projection coming in through the eye gate and entering the soul, tormenting the spirit. I hear you, Jesus. Jesus just said for me to rebuke it right now and 10,000 are going to be immediately set free from tormenting spirits. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I adjure you by God, go, go, go in Jesus' mighty name. Now shout. Shout Jesus from the mountain. Shout it out. So I have to, I have to teach you. Because you don't understand. Jesus bore your headache, your eye disease, your kidney disease. Your Ron Daly, Ron, da I got a text from his daughter last night about a physical situation that he's going through. It has to do with his prostate, but it's not cancer, and his bladder and his kidneys. I don't think she even knew this service was today, but Ron Daly is an enormous reason why I am and this church is in ministry today. He was my mentor before I met Brother Summerall. In fact, it's through him that I did meet him. So they texted me last night, would I pray? I said, honey, I'll do more than pray. I'm gonna perspire all over. Oh! this prayer and I'm going to send it to my friend Ron Daly yeah. who taught me to stand on the word of God yeah. have, faith, have faith and only believe and all things are possible yeah. to him that believeth I yeah. declare I decree complete healing, healing. and total recovery yeah. to every person including Ron Daly with prostate bladder, kidney problems, it is finished. Oh, you lose it. You lose in power now. I said you, you need to shout for 30 seconds. Jesus in the streets, Jesus in, lift it up church. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. 
Anointing on that right now. Sing again. Jesus on the mountain. Disorders Jesus of the skin. Disorders Jesus of the skin the are being healed now. Enemy. Imbalance. Imbalance is being healed. T M J being healed right now. Right now. Every jaw be loose. Every tongue be loose. Every tooth be healed. Jesus in the dark, so every Shout this name now. Jesus for my family. Let everybody in my family be the healed. Holy name. Here it is, shout it. All right, come on out here. Uh, I for many years I preached in all over Scandinavia yeah, yeah. Finland yeah. Norway Sweden uh, just all over those three finger nations I believe it was the third time I was ever there and they I said, I started to preach, and all of a sudden, the Holy Ghost came on me. I said, all of a sudden, the Holy Ghost came on me. Like he's been on me since yesterday at 10 o'clock when I was out at Calvary Memorial with these prayer warriors. If you've been a part of 24 hours of prayer, shout now. The Holy Ghost came on me. Everybody up here shout, I have a new heart. I have a new heart. I have a new heart. Every blood vessel, every capillary, every artery is open. I have no arrhythmia. My heart beats normally. The normal beats a minute. My heart, My heart receives and releases blood, releases blood in, perfection. in perfection. I rebuke, I rebuke all, heart all heart conditions in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you. Go from me now. Now act like it's done. You online, say it's done. Type it in. It's done. It's done. All right. I was in Sweden and I started to preach and I heard the Lord say to me, they cannot conceive. Well, I thought he meant spiritually. So I just dug down deeper preaching. And he said, no, they cannot conceive. And then I saw a lady that was with child and he said, that's what I mean. And I said, okay. So I stopped the service. I said, everybody believing that's married. And believing to conceive, come to the altar. I believe there were 22 of them that came to the altar. Couples. So I laid hands on them commanded them to conceive. The next year, I went back to that same place to the same meeting. And when I got to the pulpit, I said, does anybody remember that when I was here last year, we prayed for folks to conceive? And the pastor started shouting. He said, we remember they're all right here. I said, well, bring them up here. And every one of them, every one of them was either with child or had already given birth. Every 
Everyone. 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 Seventy times. Get this. Seventy times in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Jesus was asked if he would heal someone. Seventy times. Seventy times. Seven. He never said no. No, that's right. That's right. That's right. And then your Bible says he is the same. Yesterday and today and forever. Six times in the Gospels, your Bible says, and Jesus healed them all. I think he'd just go ahead and do the same thing today. Everybody, everybody watching, everybody watching in any of our campuses, yes, online, yes, social media. Well, first of all, because it, it's, it's doing it again. Ah. What's doing what again? I'm feeling something yeah. in my kidney. There was another, you know, it's a good thing to know the Bible. Yeah. Not what some whooping preacher said. The Bible. And I whoop with the best of them. The Bible said there was a blind man wanted to receive his sight. So Jesus ministered to him. He said, How is it? And the man said, Well, I see men walking like trees so he'd gone from no sight to blurry very blurry vision and Jesus said well you know what else am I going to do so he prayed again If you've ever been prayed for before, it is no lack of faith to say, touch me again, Jesus. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Unashamedly, we come before the throne of grace in our time of need to find help. Everybody cry out to Jesus. Help my unbelief and minister to me in my need right now. I believe you, Jesus. Touch me now. Touch me now. Touch me now. Now Now act like he did it. So, so, uh, if you're a City Harvest Network pastor, wife, come right in front of me right now. Everybody move now, quickly. Shout Jesus from the mountains. Jesus in the trees. Jesus in the darkness. Come on, everybody sing. You all are being spectators. At least pray. At least pray. Jesus in the darkness, the darkness over every Jesus, Jesus for my family. 
Jesus for my family. I speak the holy name. Jesus. Okay, Jesus. you ready? You ready? So this is why I couldn't, this is why I couldn't get through this. All right. Because God the Holy Ghost wants to give it to all of you. I promise y'all, you don't learn to rejoice outwardly, openly, visibly, unashamedly, you're never going to move into your fullness. I'm going to try again. God said he's going to put this on you. Now, wait a minute. I got to talk to the most of the rest of you. You're in my choir. When I prophesied to somebody, somebody in this choir, step out and tell me what I'm actually doing. But come here. Come here. I just watched a video of, this is the 30 year anniversary of Miracle Healing and Victory Prayer Call Service. In the very first one, 30 years ago, you were standing right over there. Yes, sir. Singing in the front line. Yes, sir. With lots of black hair. <laughs> Stop, Wendell. <laughs> I love you. That's awesome. So when I prophesy to them or all these other people or them or that little girl or anybody, this gentleman who is acquainted with the ministry here and what I teach, rather than just standing here looking pretty, which you all do, by the way, tell them when I speak what I just said, to all those City Harvest Network pastors there. When I'm speaking to them, I'm giving them a word. And what am I actually doing? You're prophesying through them. I'm, wait, wait. I'm prophesying to them? Through them. So, so they get it. And then everybody and then else does. Anybody else yeah. gets it that reaches out by faith. Come on. Now act like my wife. Come on. God is about to put this gift on you. Oh, oh. So. Okay, okay. 
Miss Joni says, servants get double. How many years you been here? Three years. Yes, sir. At Valley Christian College. Yes, sir. You came from Nevada? Yes, sir. Nevada. See that man beside you? He's an apostle. He's a teacher. He's an evangelist. He's my pastor. He is an extraordinary teacher. How long have you been here? 41 years, sir. 41 years. But if you ask anybody what his primary gift is, it's helps. He's a servant leader. Oh, Jesus. Now, every servant leader get to shouting for a new and fresh anointing. Every pastor and leader, if you want a hundred like her, get to shouting. been very patient no like that's a word from the Lord that's not I'm not talking about now you've been very patient and uh, your humility is well marked even when you thought you were falling apart he was holding you together So I went back there, all 22 of them. <laughs> all of them. Oh. Oh. Am, I, am I talking to them? Am, or am I talking to everybody yeah, under the yeah, sound yeah, of my voice? Yeah, yeah. Am I talking to everybody whose request is on that table yeah. right now? Do yeah. you have faith yeah. for Jesus? Yeah to heal them all. Yes, yes, yes. Where are my requests? Yes, I've got it. 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 You said. Yes, I've got it. Yes, I've got it. Yes, I've got it. I just want to know if you believe that Andrea in Ohio can be delivered from depression. Yes. 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 Well, I want you to take 15 seconds and declare that she's healed and every other person tormented by depression. depression in the name of Jesus. Jamie in Colorado. 
please pray for a miracle. My son has special needs. Hey, hey, uh, Jamie in Colorado, part of this broadcast is being brought to you with the help of my son who had special needs, who they said put in an institution and forget he was ever born. He's back there working in television this morning. I want you to bind up every special need among children in the name of Jesus. I want to hear you break it out. What about Sheila in Florida? Please pray for my family's deliverance and salvation. If you know anybody that needs Jesus, I dare you at the top of your lungs to reach out and believe God. Come on. Make the devil let go of them. Make the devil take his hands off of them. Take your authority. For the light of life breaking through the darkness in Jesus' name. Come on. Hell fought harder than that to keep them. Come on. Save every one of them. Thank you, Lord God, for your salvation. Here it is again. Melanie in California, we already prayed for this. Please pray for my brother suffering from severe delusions and paranoia. Now let me pastor you for a minute. Go ahead. A lot of y'all need to turn your phone off. Oh! Quit flicking through your feet. Yeah. The devil knows exactly what to put in front of you. That's right. 89% of people that go on any social media for at least 20 minutes leave it depressed Depressed. comparing right that's all a lie you know yes but that fills your being with crazy stuff Some of you can't go to bed without watching the news. And then you can't go to sleep because you watched it. What part of you doesn't make sense? Proverbs in the morning. Psalms at night. 2023. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, shout it, I shall not again. want, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies and i dwell in the house of the lord forever now shout you believe every word of it thank you lord thank you lord hallelujah we stand on your word mighty god stand on your word mighty god Let the weak say they're strong. Let the poor say they're rich. Let the barren rejoice. Conceit. Every one of you, every one of you that needs that miracle, receive it right now in Jesus' name. Where's Brother Dennis? Where's Brother Dennis? 
Jesus, Jesus, shout your name, stand on your name, Jesus. I'm Moses, you're the Red Sea. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, King of kings, Lord of lords, Jesus. The Lord says, you're a priest. Yes. Bring that need before me. Yes. And you're a king. Declare the decree. And so shall it be. I rebuke every cancer cell. Yes. You are off limits. That's right. You are trespassing on God's territory. That's right. And I rebuke you. I command you. Uh-huh. Stop it. That's right. That's enough. That's enough. And I say to every cancer cell, come out of him. I didn't speak to him. I spoke through him. Every cancer, every cancer, every leukemia, every bondage, every blood disease, in the name of Jesus Christ, sugar diabetes, I rebuke you. Father, heal, deliver, save everyone for your glory. Last time, give him the greatest shout and praise of the day. Head back to your seat rejoicing. So tell me who can stand me when we call on that mighty name, mighty name, mighty name. That name is Jesus, 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 Jesus. precious, precious. seated you may be seated I'm ready now to begin the service Uh, uh, hallelujah Um, the book of the preacher please the book of the preacher chapter 2 Verse 26, that's Ecclesiastes, the preacher. However you've got a Bible, get it. Those of you online, do not forget, there is a prayer cloth on this table for you. They have been saturated in prayer for weeks, 24 hours straight last night. They're in this environment of anointing, which is yoke destroying and burden removing, and no anointing ever leaves the earth. Every anointing, from Moses to today, 
is available to every believer. So get a prayer cloth. All you need to do, the information's right there on the screen. We'll send it right out to you. You use it as a point of contact according to Acts chapter 19. Read it today and believe and agree. 2023 is a year, are you ready? Of sudden miracles. That's right. Sudden. Yes, yes, Sudden yes, yes. miracles. Hallelujah. <laughs> 2023 is a year of no fear. Amen, amen, Why do you think these spirits that are specifically loosed by Satan to strike fear and terror in the hearts of men are at an all-time high right now? Because 23 is a year of no fear. So he's trying to combat that. But fear and faith can't live in the same heart. They can't live in the same mind. They can't live in the same emotional realm. So how do you drive out the fear and replace it with faith? Number one, by praying in your most holy faith, building up yourself in the Lord, by praying in the Holy Spirit. Number two, by filling yourself with the Word of God. Yes. Filling yourself. Your Bible says, give no place right. to the devil. Right. That's the word topos. It means position of opportunity. Amen. And it also means space. Give him no space. But it's not ordinary space. It's space limited by occupancy. Now, you don't see it much anymore, but when I was a boy and we'd take a vacation in a 64 blue Buick Skylark with no air conditioning, and my father always wanted to drive from Columbus or Kentucky to South Florida, because that was fun. And we didn't eat at fast food. We put a Coleman cooler. They were green, and we put that in the back with trail baloney. Trail baloney. With trail baloney. Every now and then we'd stop and get a Pepsi and you'd drink a third of it and then pour a bag of salted peanuts in it. See, y'all don't know what living is. You think if it's not at McDonald's, you don't know what it is. Hallelujah. Why was I telling you about Pepsi and peanuts? Huh? What? Yeah. Place. It takes a professor to follow me. <laughs> give the devil. Say, give the devil no place. Do you understand that what just happened here supernaturally by the Spirit of God was all of God? But do you also understand that it does nothing about your doubt and unbelief? Doubt and unbelief are not destroyed by miracle signs and wonders. I wish the church would learn that. It doesn't do anything about unbelief. It's a sign and a wonder that points people toward God, but it doesn't do anything about the lack of faith. First of all, this kind cometh not out, but by prayer and fasting. Come here and God's going to loose the finances that he promised to you. You, you, you. Come here. Receive now. Yes, Receive. Receive. I didn't speak to him. Okay, just sit there and don't get it. I don't know what to tell you. God would pay off your church if you'd get what I'm talking about. I don't know anybody but love. And I haven't for over 40 years. And I'm not in debt on my credit cards either. Jesus. Believers going in debt on credit card. What in the world are y'all doing? 22% interest. You talk about being a slave to the lender. 
But really, that's not what a slave, you're a slave to. You're a slave to your own emotions and self-will. You're, 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 you, you are um, allergic to self-denial. When really, self-denial is entry-level Christianity. So I'm telling you not to give the devil any place. And place is space that is limited by occupancy. So if fear is manifesting, you're giving it space. So if you put faith in, it drives fear out. And faith comes by hearing and that by the word of God. Faith comes other ways too. Faith comes when you get born again. You mean to tell me you believe? How many of y'all believe you're going to heaven? You mean to tell me you believe you're going to heaven? How many of you ever been there? I also have issues, you know, to each his own. I certainly have issues with people that say they went to heaven and came back. Because Paul didn't get to do that. Paul was caught up to the third heaven, which is where the throne of God is. It didn't say he was at the throne, but it did say he got caught up. He knew a man got caught up to the third heaven. And when he, when he came back, he said, I saw and heard things there that I'm not to speak about. Everybody else writes a book about it. That's, so it just kind of is odd to me. What you must do is receive faith. Now, it's one thing for you to come to a meeting like this and get healed. But another of my mentors for many years, the late, exceptional Dr. Kenneth E. Hagan, the founder of Rhema Bible Training Center and one of the great fathers of faith. First of all, I never saw him that he wasn't praying in the Holy Spirit. Like at dinner. Like sitting in a service. Like driving in a car. Like going to sleep. Like when he woke up. He never stopped praying in the Holy Ghost. Not to distract or disturb other people. You understand, but to build himself up in faith. So faith comes by hearing. Faith comes when you get born again. You mean to tell me you got faith to believe you're going to walk on streets of gold with gates made out of one pearl and 12 gates and 12 manner of trees and the leaves of the trees over the healing of the nations and a new Jerusalem is going to fall out of heaven and you're going to live there? You believe all that? Well, you must have faith. But then you don't have faith to drive a fever out of your infant child. You do have it. Then faith comes by impartation. It comes by the gift of faith. You know the thing about gifts is, if you have one, you can give it away. There was a gentleman... He pastored a church in Columbus. It was very successful. He closed it down, and he sat right there every service for about five years. I finally said to him, why would you close your church down and come over here? He said, I didn't know anything about faith. And he said, since I've been sitting in that chair, in a year I learned more about faith than I've known my whole life. You can learn about faith you can receive an impartation of faith you're sitting on a mountain right now that faith built i was thinking this is the 30th anniversary of a prayer cloth you know what that means it just now reached maturity yeah. to the hebrew nation right a man does not reach full maturity mentally, physically, or spiritually until he's 30. The Levites could not be consecrated until they were 30. 
Jesus started ministry at 30. John the Baptist started ministry at 30. And some of y'all, you, you, 19 years old, you won a three-tiered wedding cake in ministry, and you haven't had a donut. Have some patience. Have some patience. COVID grew fast and spread wide, but it wasn't a good thing. I'm possessed of a Holy Ghost contagion, and it's spreading. You understand? I went to 70 Victor Road in London, England. I stood on the doorstep where Smith Wigglesworth laid his hands on Dr. Lester Sumrall. I received an impartation there. I don't walk in a singular anointing. I walk in the anointing of plurality. And I make use of all of it. All right. Hallelujah. Yes. Don't give the devil any space. Amen. And don't tell him stuff he doesn't know. Look, a Christians are blessed their little hearts. He can't read your mind. Why are you talking to the devil in your mind? He can't hear you. He doesn't know what's going on in your mind till you show him. Or till you tell him. How you doing today? I'm so depressed. And, 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 and hell starts rejoicing. If you can't speak the word, don't say anything. At least don't damn yourself. Blessed be God, I feel like teaching the Bible. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing comes by the Word of God. Check your Bible study and the hours on your cellular device. It's quiet in here. Get in the Word, and it'll get in you. It's one thing, Dr. Hagen, I'm trying to tell you what Dr. Hagen told me. Dr. Hagen said, look at all these people I just prayed for. He said, now God healed most of them. And before they get home, most of them will lose it. That's what he told me. I said, why is that? He said, because they're undisciplined. The old, the old men, they just tell you straight. They, didn't, they weren't concerned about whether you came back next Sunday or not. Their job was to tell you the truth, close their Bible, walk off, and forget who cared anything about it. They'd lose it. Why? They're undisciplined. I said, what do you mean? He said, look at their shoes. Don't look down. He said, look at their shoes. Well, what about them? Half of them look like po they're polished with a Hershey bar. Look at their hair, unkept. Look at their clothes, sloppy. If you looked in their car, you'd have french fries all in the floor. Anybody that's undisciplined will not be disciplined in the Word. So then when that thing tries to come back on them, they won't know what to do about it. They'll just start saying, well, I didn't get it. Jesus. Shall I got it? Woo. God dealt to every man the measure of faith when you got born again. Faith comes by hearing, and that means getting yourself in church. I said that means getting yourself in church. 48% of the so-called church totally backslid during COVID. Totally backslid. The church across America immediately lost 40% of its people and 60% of their incomes. And 48% of those people say they will never return to church in person. Come on now. Forsake not the assembling of yourselves together right. as the manner of some is. And even the more so yes. right. when you see Russia 
in league with Iran and America sending Iran billions of dollars to buy weapons from China to blow up our servicemen all over the Middle East. The Bible said when you see Russia come in league with China, never happened before, never in the history of the world, and they join in confederacy with the radical Islamic states of the Middle East, know this, Gog of Magog is at hand and Jesus may come in the clouds before we get home. Because we can honestly say, unless God does something, what's going on in the Middle East right now will spark the last great battle before the rapture of the church. We're right there right now. So you need to be sure you're on your way to heaven. Now the gospel's real simple. Number one, Jesus loves you. Not the person in front of you, not the person behind you, not somebody else in the third row, not Pastor Rod, not the world, not the church. Jesus loves you. How much does he love you? So much. Never anywhere in the history of language have two letters meant as much as that little word so in John 3, 16. For God so loved you that he gave his only begotten son. That's number two. Jesus died for you. Nobody else did. There's not a Facebook friend that died for you. There's not a news commentator that died for you. There's not a mentor that died for you. There's not a preacher that died for you. But Jesus laid his life down and shed his blood so you could be forgiven and have eternal life. Number three, Jesus was raised from the dead. Ah, man, that's the apex of our hope in God. That's the crown jewel of our faith. He is not here. He is risen as he said. Woo. Number four, because he was raised from the dead, he can change your life today. And I don't mean a little bit. He said he'd make you a new creature that the earth and heaven and hell have never had to deal with before. A new creature. Old things pass away. Everything become new to you. I know it. He can change your life. He changed mine. Number four, five. Eternity is real. This is how simple it is. Eternity is real. There are only two destinations. One is a place called heaven where we leap like a heart over the everlasting hills of God's glory. To suffer no more, sigh no more, cry no more, die no more. Whoo! There won't be any more war. There won't be any hospital wards. There won't be any Hamas. There won't be any Hezbollah. There won't be any anger. There won't be any rage. There won't be any racism. There won't be any bigotry. This is all gone. It's all gone. Amen. Then there's another destination. It's a place called hell. It was not made for you. God sends no one to hell. But you may go there. May, underlining, you may. You know, it's like we try to teach children proper grammar. Can I go to the bathroom? Well, I suppose you can, unless there's some physiological problem. But the proper way to ask is, may I? And I said to you, you may go to hell. What does that mean? It's your choice. God sends no one to hell. If you go there, you'll be an intruder on him forever. Not for a day or two, forever. Eternity is unconscionable to the human mind. You cannot fathom eternity because you've never known anything that was eternal unless you know God. This I know, the death rate among humans remains stubbornly at 100%. Every person represented by every request on this table will die.
every person under the sound of my voice will die unless you go in the rapture. God doesn't want you to end up in hell. And nobody goes there on purpose. The number one statement in hell is simple. I never intended to be here. The number one song on hell's playlist is I did it my way. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling. He's calling to you and to me. It would be a tragedy to have a healed body be given a miracle, a financial breakthrough, a miracle in your family, and end up in eternity without God. Now you say this is a strange thing for the 30th anniversary of the miracle healing and victory prayer cloth service. Not so. The apex of everything we do and have done Come January, I will celebrate 50 years preaching this gospel full time. Of that 50 years, I've been married to the same woman for 37. I have two beautiful children, one already in heaven, two on earth. They both serve God with their whole hearts. Be seated. When God bought me back from the dead with vocal cord cancer, he said, I want you to be stronger than ever and bring souls into my kingdom. I've anointed you to do it. And he has. Every head bowed, every eye closed, no one looking around. I'm going to give you an opportunity to choose heaven or hell, life or death, God or the devil, blessing or cursing. You want to know God fully and completely. You're weary with the way it's been. And today, you want to open your whole heart to Jesus Christ. You want to accept him and receive forgiveness and know that you're as sure for heaven as if you were already there. I'm going to count to three, and when I say three, I want you to raise your hand like you're reaching out for the greatest thing you could ever imagine because you are. Peace with God, peace with men, fulfillment in your life, hope in your future, your past canceled, your sins forgiven. And regardless of what happens in this weary, wasted, whacked out world, you're going to heaven. When I say three, raise your hand, let's pray. God will do exactly what we ask him to do. Are you ready? No one can do it for you. You're not a Christian because you went to church. You're a Christian because you opened your heart to Jesus Christ. And surrendered your life to him. You can do it right now. You can go home today. A brand new man, woman, boy, girl. Those of you watching. This is for you as well. When I count to three. You want to pray. Type the word save. S-A-V-E. Into those computers. Into that cell device. Do it right now. I'm counting to three. Come on. Let's go to heaven. Let's know we're on our way. On three. Raise that hand. One. Two. Three, raise that hand, leave it up. Don't put it down, please. One person in each section, count for me. Hands up, please. Hands up. Every person that raised your hand, thank you so much. Dozens and dozens. Those of you at home, God bless you. Type the word save in. Everybody pray with me. Jesus, Jesus. Son, of God, Son of God, I accept you. I, accept I believe in you. I believe I confess you as my personal Savior. I will live for you as you show me how. Thank you for forgiving me. I'm going to go to church every time the doors are open. I'm going to get a Bible. 
I'm going to read 1 John every day this week. Thank you for forgiving me. It feels so good. I could almost clap and shout. Oh, why not? That's the greatest miracle, healing, and victory available to humanity. I would like Pastor Brian Gallardo, his lovely wife Jillian, his beautiful daughter Olivia, to come and join me on the platform. They're from Missouri. He is a graduate of Valor Christian College at that time, World Harvest Bible College. How many years ago, Pastor? What year was that? 98 and 99. 1998 and 1999. Well, he's here today with Bishop David Amos, uh, the ambassador at large of the great City Harvest Network, over 2,000 churches across America and around the world, over 100 of which have joined us live today. We thank God for all of them. But he comes today, he preached last Wednesday night in here, and I, I told him, I said, why don't you leave something for me? What a word, what a great anointing. Thank you for doing that. I've had the great joy of being in his great church. It's been too long though, so I need to come back. But today, it is my great joy and my honor to consecrate Pastor Brian Gallardo, Gallardo. Do you know that your daddy went to school here all those years and he told me his name was Gallardo? <laughs> yeah, he did. And then he wants to correct me when I say it incorrectly. No, he doesn't. I love him so much. I love Miss Jillian. And this one right here. Oh, Jesus. Ashton. Ashton. This one right here. This one right here. This one right here. Your prayers are prophetic. I hear your words. Because your heart is pure, I bring them to pass. I have given you a uniqueness. Don't pattern yourself after anyone. For what I will do in you, daughter, no one has ever seen. A new thing will I do, says the Lord. Now, at this time, in this moment, in this place, henceforth and hereafter, shall it be, says the Lord. And enjoy me, you and I together don't try to please me i'm beyond pleased know that i'm with you daughter and so shall i be i've already planned the way just walk ye in it says the holy one of israel jehovah Barra, the god of creation ah uh, thank you lord the god of the angel armies let it be let it be a double anointing I place upon you now, says God. Double everything you've ever walked in. I'm loosing your tongue, says the Lord, and your spirit will spill over your tongue, and so shall be the great, great fall of adversarial forces before you, says the Holy One. You are unique as well. I've made you so. So enjoy me, says the Lord. Father, I consecrate this great pastor into the holy office of the bishopric. I release every anointing in my spiritual heritage to be in him now. Hey, 
in the mighty name of Jesus, I release holy anointings. People falling in front of the altar, weeping and wailing for revival. I see great increase, not double, quadruple, says the Lord, walk in my ways. You'll see it. Enjoy me. We're going to have a great time. The next three years will be unprecedented, says the mighty God of Israel. Amen. Amen. And the church said, Woo! Well, I was going to read this verse to you a while ago. I'm going to read it now. You ready? Ecclesiastes 2.26 To the man who pleases him Shout, that's me. That's me. Stop receiving condemnation. Amen. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the Spirit. No condemnation. No condemnation. Jesus saved you. The divine prerogative was his. He decided to do it. If God hadn't wanted to heal you, spirit, soul, and body, he shouldn't have. Healing is like salvation. It's not a promise. It's an established fact. All you have to do is receive it. Jesus already paid for it. Amen. Amen. To the man who pleases him, God gives wisdom. Shout, I've got it. You need to get my series on the seven wisdoms of God. Knowledge. God wants to give you divine information from heaven. As you pray in the Holy Ghost, he makes deposits in you and you know things you did not know. And I love this one. God said this to all three of these beautiful people just before me to be consecrated into the office of bishop. And I I don't know that I've ever said that any time in nearly 50 years. I said, God said, enjoy me. Do you know God wants to give you, according to Ecclesiastes 2.26, happiness? Blessed be God forever. Shout the joy of the Lord is my strength. But to the sinner, shout, that's not me. He gives the task, the burden, the weariness, the work of gathering and storing up financial wealth so that the sinner may hand it over to the one who pleases God. You know, some folks don't like for you to talk about money in church. No, they don't mind you to talk about money at the ball game. They don't, they don't mind to pay, you know, $150 for a ticket to go look at a mouse. They don't mind that. But if you talk about money at church, they get all nervous. Well, because most of them are liars and thieves. That's why they get nervous. Because they don't tithe and they're not offering givers. They're not liberal. They act like it's a burden to give to God. 50% of Jesus' teaching throughout the Gospels, half of it was about money. I saw somebody jump, Brother Copeland, the other day, stick a microphone in front of him. Who do you think you are? Flying on an airplane. He looked right back at him and said, Well, I've won 1,100,000 plus thousand people to Jesus using that. Right. <laughs> Why should a man like Kenneth Copeland have to sit in a stinking airport for a day to try to get somewhere to preach that night, have to stay overnight in a hotel where there have been prostitutes the whole night before, and then get on another airplane and waste another entire day getting home. I'd rather him preach three times and win 75,000 people to Jesus. People just are all messed up. There's not a one of those people that if you gave them an airplane would give it back to you and say, no, I'm holy. 
Stop being that way. Stop being that way. God, I, I see people with great wealth. It makes me so happy. Because I know there's going to be a great transfer. Either they're going to get born again and give it, or God's going to do something else. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. Well, if Jesus preached two Sundays a month on giving, maybe preachers ought to mention it every now and then. Two-thirds of the parables of Jesus, two-thirds direct. to pay their bills week to week, 41%. 54% will be broke, and were it not for the government, would be living in the streets, 54%. Now, how in the world are we going to win a world to Jesus? If 54% if of the folks sitting in front of me today are broke, Preachers, you better start preaching this again. You better make a demand on the faith of the people so the people can get free. Jesus said, give and it will be given unto you. Hallelujah. Cornelius and Hannah mixed their praying and their giving. And God said it placed a memorial in front of him. So it's time to receive the morning's tithes and offerings. There are envelopes in the pews in front of you. All the giving information is on your screen. Father, we thank you. You have not made us to be beggars. David said, I have been young and I have been old and I have never seen the righteous, the obedient, forsaken, nor their seed begging for bread. I thank you for meeting every need this church has and for giving us Many millions of dollars left over to bless other ministries, to start new ministries, to launch churches, to speak the word around the world. And we thank you for doing it. We're doing the work of your kingdom. We believe you have sponsored it. We believe you've called us to do it. And I thank you for 50 years that you have met every need and more in abundance. I bless you for that, Jesus, and I thank you for everyone that gives, every soul that will be touched, every baby that will be saved at the women's clinic. I thank you for nearly 15,000 already rescued from abortion. Forgive our state. Forgive our state for legalizing abortion up to the moment of birth. Forgive us for not giving more and doing more to see to it that that innocent slaughter is stopped. Thank you for overturning Roe versus Wade. Thank you for doing that. I prophesied it in this pulpit in 1988. We would see in our lifetime Roe versus Wade overturned. We've seen it, but now we're not standing up to the responsibility of it. Forgive us for that. Let every person under the sound of my voice begin sowing $9 a month to help us save babies. 
$9 a month in Jesus' name. Lord, we love you. We bless you. We thank you for this offering. Thank you for everything you've done today. We give you all the glory. Amen. 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 I said amen. amen. Just before the ushers begin, I want to say congratulations to the Harvest Preparatory School boys football team. On Friday night, they won their fourth regional championship in eight years. They have won two regional championships in the last three years, and they are forced to play schools. There are seven divisions in Ohio. Our school is the size of Division Seven, but they force us to play the Christian school. They force us to play two divisions up. So we're playing schools three times our size. And that's where we compete. Amen? And uh, so they want another regional. What does that mean? That means this Friday night, they will go to the state final four. Yeah. For, for the fifth time, for the fifth time, and play in the state semifinal. We just believe God will win that one too and win the state championship. So, uh, you know, they don't have a community. The last two games, we played Ironton. They shut the entire city down. That's Bishop Amos' old stomping grounds. You can't get a Coca-Cola in that city. Everybody goes to support that team. And then you look across the field, and, you know, there's 150 people in the stands. So I hope that some of you will get your tickets and make the journey. It's just about an hour drive to where we'll be playing Friday night. That was all free. Do you still love me? Act like you've had a great time. Don't let the devil know any different. Amen. Incidentally, that was Coach Milan Smith's 101st win. That is quite an accomplishment. So, give us unto the Lord. I love you. Pastor Chris, you got a great song coming. I've been waiting all morning on this. Come on. But I kind of got in the way. But I just listened to the Holy Ghost. Are you ready? Tell Pastor Chris and these wonderful folks you love them. God bless you as you give online today, here in the room, wherever you're joining us from. Jesus, declare 
the name of the Lord. Oh, that anointing is so sweet, so powerful, so glorious. Thank you for joining us today on this 30th anniversary. Be made whole. Miracle healing and prayer cloth. Victory service. What a time we have had in the Lord. The residue is still here. The people are still worshiping. We've been praying for 24 hours straight and God did not disappoint. Now, if you need a healing, deliverance, salvation for a family member or a friend, I want you to get your prayer cloth from that altar. It is in there right now, still in the holy presence of God, just being saturated with the yoke-destroying, burden-removing anointing of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We want to send you yours so you can Take it in your hands. Use it as a point of contact for the agreement of our prayers and our faith. So do that right now. The information's right there on your screen. You can just go to rodparsley.com and request yours. It's absolutely free. We just want to see you receive your miracle. We still believe in miracles. I hope you'll share this service with all of your friends. Let's see how many shares we can get on this great 30th anniversary prayer cloth service. This coming Wednesday night, you do not want to miss. It is our Thanksgiving family Holy Communion service. If you're around Columbus, make sure you get here in person 
We'll worship the Lord together and then receive the cup and the bread of the Lord as a family. So don't miss that. If you can't be in Columbus or one of our branch campuses, then make sure you join us online. Have your elements ready. We sure love you. Thank you so much for agreeing with us today. May the Lord's blessing rest upon you and upon everything you love. Sowing into the kingdom of God has never been easier or more secure than with smart giving. Any smartphone will work to use your smart giving, open your text messaging app, and send a message to number 45777. In the message of your text, type the amount of your gift, space WHC. If it's your first time giving, you'll receive a secure link to set up your account. Select your home campus, enter your giving method, and where you would like to receive your instant giving receipt. If you already registered, the process is the same. Just send a text message to 45777. Type the amount of your gift, space WHC. You'll receive your receipt immediately. If you prefer, you can also sew online at whc.life or by phone or mail. Just call the number on your screen or send your gift to the address displayed.
mercy was my plea And love compelled the heart of God To send grace down to me Lost in sin, a wretched soul, desperate to be free. Oh, precious one, God's holy son, grace went to Calvary. Ah, grace, ah, grace, powerful grace, grace that restores and rescues me. Grace, powerful grace, I sing the song of the reed. 